How's everybody? Uh, it was good to get away for a few days, uh, not just for our staff, but for our players too, and uh, to come back out and get back to work. Um, again, these guys, uh, they continue to amaze me. They keep coming back and getting ready and got a big game at home this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And um, uh, we got work to do to get ready for it. So um, again, today's Monday, a little different schedule because I gave them some time off. I need, thought we need to get back out there and run around a little bit and knock the cobwebs out a little bit. And now we'll be back to our, our normal schedule in, uh, as we move forward. Hey, we didn't see Josh McCown out there today. Uh, excuse absence. Yeah, matter of fact, I think him and Hawker are together. So I excuse him. Yeah, so I'll beat you guys to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you give us an update on RG3 and where he is physically and your plans for him these last I think he's getting closer. So until I you know, can get him out there, will I make a plan for him? and know exactly uh, what we want to do. So, I mean, I think today would be tre premature to make that decision. But once he can get back out there and start practicing, and then uh, I think there's a window of time in there uh, before we have to do anything. So um, once we get him out there, then we'll, we'll go further and, and no more. What is the window? What is the window? I think you have 21 days after he, he comes out there and starts working um, to, to see what you do. Hey, Hugh, we talked to Sashi earlier, and he talked about continuity being one of the parts of his plan or your guys, the organization's plan to get things fixed. How important is that to you to know that you're not going anywhere and according to Sashi, every, everybody's going to be made <laughs> I never thought I was going anywhere. <laughs> no, I, I know that's been part of the plan, you know, from day, from day one, you know, before I took the job. So I felt very comfortable. I know there's been a lot of mudslinging going around. You know, but I get it. You know, that's part of it. You know, when you have the, the record we do, I, I expect things to be said. But we're comfortable. We we'll know exactly what we're trying to do. I think it's a tremendous plan. We all support it. Um, it's not where we want it to be. Be the first to tell you guys all that. But I know uh, we do have a plan in place, and we feel very strongly that uh, we're going to get things uh, uh, headed in the right direction as soon as we can. Not a lot. I probably shouldn't have used that word. I know you guys will come back at me somehow, some way. Uh, no, but it's just been enough to me. I think, um, you know, when you don't play as well as you like and you be in these situations, you open yourself up to a lot of criticism. So I get it, you know, and I think uh, we all do. And some of it's deserving. You know, when you're not winning, you know, that's tough. And uh, I think at the same time, we knew it could be tough, you know, so – uh, we're going through it, and um, it's, it's, um, it's part of the plan, not the losing, but it's part of the plan to get to where we want to go, you know, and I think sometimes you take a step back to take a couple steps forward, and I, I think we're heading the right direction. I feel very comfortable uh, with what we're doing. As I said, I think I, it was just this past week, I said that uh, Dee and Jimmy have been outstanding, and I meant that. They are, they're unflinching in what we're trying to accomplish. And that being said, I'm sure it's hard for everybody to go through it, but we're going through it, and we'll come out the other side of it. Well, we're on the, the subject. Um, there is a report that uh, your decision to bench uh, Cody and, and bring Josh in cre has created this tension. Or, uh, I do have a tension in, headache. Increase <laughs> uh, I, my head hurts. <laughs> I mean, uh, I get but increased tension between the, the coaching staff and front office. So the question is, do you feel that at all? I don't know where any of that comes from. I've, I've never felt that, heard that, any of that. So, like I said, my head does hurt from time to time when we lose. Uh, that's about it. You know, like I said, I mean, the things we do here, uh, you know, I, I'm the head coach of the football team, and uh, I'll make decisions sometimes based on what I think's right. And, um, you know, sometimes that's just part of it. And, uh, but I haven't heard that, felt that, seen that from anybody in our organization. They've been outstanding in their support of me and, and what we're trying to accomplish here. Do you, do you feel like over the next, I mean, if you guys can't get it going, you're going to have to, you know, brace yourself and kind of shield the team, too, from a lot of this, you know, so-called mudsling and... Everything. You know, Mary Kay, I, you know, this, this team is really unique that way. I think, um, I mean, we understand um, that things can be said and will be said. And uh, like I said earlier, rightfully so. We, we're not here to have the record we have. I think we're all disappointed, um, probably to a person a little embarrassed by it. 
you know, don't like it. But I think we all understand the only people that can change our circumstances are the guys in that room. And um, uh, we got to find a way to do that. You know, we have six more opportunities to do it. And, um, you know, I think the guys uh, walked in the room today and, and that's what we're focused on and that's what we're going to try to accomplish. And um, I think they're more determined than ever to do that. Uh, we know those six games are tough games, too. I mean, it's not – there are no games in there that probably people will even give us a chance. You know, but at the same time, the guys in the room that will determine that, you know, and we'll keep working at it. Uh, Hugh, on Monday, I asked you about Cam Irving, and you said, as we sit here today, I don't expect to do anything, but we'll have conversations as we get back mm -hmm. to work. Have you had those, and have you re rethought the center position at all? Yeah, I've had, I've had some thoughts about it. You know, I, I think Cam is um, – you know, I thought the other night he battled hard. I think he, he strained and did some some good things, and there's some things he needs to continue to work at and clean up. But I think uh, as we move through the next six weeks, I love to have some continuity up front, you know, and uh, leave him there and uh, give him a chance to keep demonstrating that he can do it. You know, um, I think um, Cam understands there's some things that he's got to continue to work at as everybody on our offensive line. Um, there's there's uh, another level to pick up on, you know, everywhere. So, uh, but I think continuity there, you know, as where is everywhere on our offense is going to be the key as we go down the stretch here. You said you're kind of pushing Cody right now and you want to see a little bit more. How, how, has he been receptive to that? Is this what he wants? He's been outstanding. You know, he, uh, he hasn't blinked. You know, obviously the, the other day, you know, sometimes those things are wake-up calls for people. And not saying that that's what it did to him, but I think it motivated him more. I mean, I, I don't think anybody likes being taken out of the game. Uh, but I think at the same time, uh, some guys can understand why. You know, I normally don't do it without trying to give guys a reason, you know, and have them feel very comfortable. And like I said, we had a great talk. And I think he understands what my expectation is for that position and where I want it to be and where I like for him to be. And, and he's going to try to meet that challenge. And that's what this is all about, you know, keep raising the level of play throughout our football team somehow, some way, and that's that's what we have to do. It seemed like it, at times the, the receivers, I don't know if that's just what receivers do, but it, it looked at times like they may have been frustrated about things on the sidelines. I don't know if it's the ball's not getting to them deep or whatever the case may be. Does that Did that influence you in any way? No. In my No. And the Cody decision? No. It had nothing to do with the receivers. It had to do with my – knowledge and expertise at what I do, you know, and um, trying to do what I think is right for our team to help our team win. Didn't work, as I said the other day. So, um, no, but we gotta, we're gotta we going to stop all that demonstrative stuff on the side. You know, I, I don't get to see a lot of that because I'm so into so many different things going on, but uh, we don't want to be that kind of group anyway. I, I love that we have guys that want the ball. And um, they, they, you know, there's not a receiver in the National Football League that doesn't think he's open all the time. So um, I get that, and I like that. But at the same time, there's a way of getting your point across. Good. Hey, you, Trayvon was on the bike. Did he get hurt Thursday night? Uh, I think he has a, a ankle right now that we're we're working through, and uh, we'll see where he is. You had to watch the Pittsburgh game yesterday, I'm sure. Yes, I did. Um, what did you think about Tomlin going for four two pointers? Mike Tomlin kind of does what he wants, you know. He's, he's a good coach, as we all know, and uh, he likes to score as many points as he can. And I don't, you know, Mike's coaching his team, so I'm not going to comment about that. You know, I think uh, he does what he thinks best for them, and, and we got to do what we think is best for us.